Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts. Welcome to our 2022 Premium Dual Sport Helmet Buying Guide. What's up, Speed Addicts? Are you looking for a premium dual sport helmet? Well, you've come to the right place. We have four of our favorite here on the table for 2022. Notable omissions before I get going. You will not see the Arai XD4 or the Shoei Hornet 2. There are a lot of videos on the internet about those guys. They are great helmets, I will not deny that, but they are getting uh, painfully expensive and we wanted to introduce some other helmets that, uh, that do really well for us. We ride in here and our customers have really liked over the years, so we're gonna jump in. Speaking of painfully expensive, we are gonna start off with a very expensive helmet. Is the Climb Cryos going for about $750. Okay, I'm gonna explain why this helmet is worth it. This is great for someone that is going to ride off-road a fair bit. You know, the first question I ask when someone calls up asking about what dual sport helmet to buy, I say, how much off-road riding are you gonna actually do? Are you gonna be mostly on the street? Or are you gonna be like 80-20 in the dirt? That's gonna inform my decision. This is more of a raw helmet that is great on-road, but it really excels off-road as well. It does not have that drop-down sunshade inside of it. So it's less parts to move around, fog break, that sort of thing. You know, if you're, if you're working hard off-road, you want something a little bit more minimalistic. You don't need the extra bells and whistles, perhaps. You can run it with goggles, so you can take that off. But they do include a very fancy transitions lens that tents in the sunlight. It also includes a, a plane, an extra shield, a clear one in the box. You can run it with or without the, the visor. And five-year warranty. It also has, the, the Cryos Pro has a full carbon shell. It only weighs three, three pounds, which makes it world-class lightweight. And that choroid material is part of that equation as well. Choroid is a substitute for foam or EPS foam inside of the helmet. It's a series of these, uh, these green straws, and you can see it when you look inside of it. And Producer Nico will cut in a cool graphic right now of choroid. So that stuff crunches, absorbs energy, and saves weight. That is the Climb Cryos. Head over to speedx.com, and if you see one available and you want one, don't wait, buy it now. They'll be gone by uh, by spring, by mid-spring at this rate. These helmets just really in short supply, especially right now. One nitpick I will say about this is I've had one of these before and I whack this air diffuser. It sticks out pretty far. So if you if you invest in one of these, I mean, we can replace that. We can get you that spare part and it's just adhesive, but watch out for these corners. They, they will crack if you whack them. Next up, the next X-Wed, it's a mouthful. This is a Portuguese helmet that has pretty much every feature under the sun. It's not cheap. It starts at $500 for the fiberglass and goes all the way up to $650 for the carbon fiber. You're paying more for weight savings. The carbon fiber is a few ounces lighter at 3.3 pounds. Fiberglass is up at 3.8. I recommend this helmet to people who are riding mostly on road with occasional, you know, fire roads, that sort of stuff, getting off road, not working super hard off road, right? The reason that is, is it is a little bit heavier than some of the other offerings, but it's just a really plush, nice helmet um, that, that is really quiet and comfortable on the road. They've paid special attention to the design of the sun visor. That's important because you don't want it to pull on your head. It is pin lock ready. It's hydration system ready. This carbon fiber version is. It's DOT ECE and it is comm system. Uh, not only is it is it comm system ready, but it actually has an integrated comm system sold separately that's made by Senna. It's the next X comm and it's ready to plug right in here and be super stealthy and, uh, and easy to install. So it's made to receive that guy. Uh, also, same thing on the Kraus. There is a comm system available. You can run a different comm system. Not You don't have to go with the integrated partner system on these. You can run whatever you want. They both have speaker pockets, so they're both comm system friendly. And next is backing that up with a two-year warranty. Again, that's the X-Wed. Next up, Suomi MX Tour. I've been selling this helmet for a long time. This is a dual sport helmet with a drop-down sunshield inside of it. And the, the reason why this helmet has been so popular is it's one of the lightest on the market. It's right around three pounds with that sun visor. It also fits very compact. You'll see the profile on this thing is nice and narrow. That reduces drag, especially at higher speeds. And um, it just, it gives you that more contoured look on the road. It, the entry on this is tight. So the first couple rides, it's gonna be a little snug to sh shove your head into the Suomi. But over time, this may be your favorite helmet. 
and the price is a little bit more friendly than the other two we've mentioned before. Starts at 360, goes up to 400, depending on the colorway. Again, supplies are somewhat limited on the Suomi. It does have a two-year warranty for the manufacturing date. And one thing I will note is that this, uh, the chin bar vent uh, cannot be closed. This is not switchable, it's always on. So if you're doing cold weather riding, you're gonna have to tape that up, or maybe just pick another helmet if you're always in the cold. The Suomi MX Tour. Next up, this is an all around favorite from us is the LS2 Explorer helmet. It comes in both fiberglass and carbon fiber. The fiberglass version is a bargain at $300 considering what you're getting. Uh, and LS2 always likes to over deliver for the price they're, um, they're expecting from you. Full five year warranty. The carbon fiber helmet goes uh, closer to $500. Again, for a carbon fiber, a full carbon fiber shell that's delivering as much as this helmet does. Uh, you know, I think they're paying, or they're asking uh, four, yeah, 460 for that guy. Uh, pretty fair deal. So one thing I like about this that makes it different than the other ones on the table is that it does have a quick release entry. So instead of a, tr a traditional D-ring closure on it, so it makes it easy to jump in and out. It's got the drop-down shield. It's pin lock ready. It's got some real aggressive venting on it, so it will keep you cool. That's the LS2 Explorer. And that has been our 2022 Dual Sport Helmet Buying Guy. We appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.